Hey, I'm Zakizi, and today we are going to have a look at how to remove anything you don't want in an image with Photoshop. We'll see several techniques which correspond to several use cases to help you remove unwanted objects no matter what your situation. Oh, wait a minute, what's with this hype to put your Photoshop in clear version like that? No, come on guys, it's 2023, please let's step it up. Go to your preferences and choose a darker color theme. There you go, much better like that. So let's start with the first tool that I love to use. It's the patch tool. Look at this nice cuckoo clock. It's part of one of my creations, in which giraffes come out working on a little branch. I like this result very much, because we have this rendering both real and imaginary that tricks our brain. But before having this rendering, the clock used to look more like this. There was a big work to do on the roof part of the clock, to make it smoother and more pleasant. This is where I used the patch tool. It would allow us to replace a selected area with pixels from another part of the image. To use it, simply select the tool in the toolbar or click J. In the tools option bar, select normal, then select source or destination as needed. The difference between source and destination is very simple. To correct other source, choose an area that has the same details as the part to be deleted. To correct that destination, draw a selection frame on an area of the image you want to replace and simply drag your selection. This tool is very useful, look at the before after result. We removed all the elements that spoil our image to have a nice look. Now, let's see a similar but slightly different in its functioning tool, it's the stem tool. On this composition, I had the issue of ball marks on the basketball hoop. I wanted to remove them to get a cleaner look. Instead, I used the stem tool. It copies the pixels from one part of an image to another. Where the patch tool is used to replace, this one is used to clone. So I simply lock it in clean parts of my frame to be able to duplicate the area everywhere. To use the stem tool is very simple. You have to select the tool in the Photoshop toolbar or just click S. Then you can use the option bar at the top to customize the parameters of the tool, such as the size, the hardness or the blending mode in order to obtain the effect you are looking for. After that, we need to define a starting point from which the tool will begin to copy. We press the Alt or Option key and click on the area of the image to be reproduced. Once it's done, release the Alt or Option key and drag the pointer to the new area where you want to place the copied content. The stem tool will copy the content of the source and paint it in the new area. Great! Look at the result on my basketball hoop. It looks really good. Photoshop offers really powerful tools adapted to all configurations. When you learn to use them, you work faster and the final result is always more effective. Ok now, how am I going to remove much larger objects from an image? Let's take the example of this image with these cute little animals running toward the lens. What if I wanted to remove the cat? Ok, don't worry. Everyone knows I love cat guys, it's just an example. I would like the cat to disappear but keep the background elements unchanged. Photoshop has created an incredible feature for this case. It's called Fill, which guarantees an incredible result. I'll show you how it works with this image. Keep in mind that this technique works correctly on images where the background is rather homogeneous. First of all, I have to select the element I want to get rid of with the object selection tool, or pressing M. Second step, let's make it disappear. Bye bye little cat, I simply right click, then fill, then content area. And there you have it, I hope you enjoyed it, even if you like cats. <laughs> this tutorial is now coming to an end. I hope you have learned from my little tricks, thanks for your attention and see you next time.